Well, good morning. It's lovely to see you again today. Oh, it's a bit chilly today. In fact, the snow started. I wonder if you've got any snow today. Well, it was a really cold and chilly weekend and really wet. The rain just didn't seem to stop falling. So I thought this weekend, with the cold in the air and a little bit of rain coming from the skies, I would go on a hunt, a hunt to see if I could find some signs of spring. I wonder if you have been able to spot any signs of spring over the last two weeks. Well, we've come today to try and find some signs of spring. I don't know if you found some near where you live. Here's a big Christmas tree. That's not really a sign of spring, but just below it, you can see some tiny little white flowers. Wonder if you know what they're called. Yes, you're right, they're called snowdrops. And I always think they are one of the first signs of early spring. I wonder what signs of spring you might be able to find near the area where you live today. Oh, and look here. Even with the snow on the ground, lovely little snowdrops are popping up as a sign of spring. Well, I wonder if you have managed to find some signs of spring. Well, today it's cold and a little bit snowy, but at the weekend, well, it just rained and rained and rained. The river near where I live just got higher and higher and faster and faster. It got so high that I had to stop my walk because a lot of the water came onto the path and we couldn't get past it. And then I saw some ducks and the ducks were worried, I think, because the river was slow, flowing so fast and they came and sat at the side. I even saw two swans and the swans had flown away from the river and found a little pond that was nice and still for them to rest on and even have a little bit of sleep. Let's have a look at the first part of that walk where the river was flowing just so fast. So I was just going to keep walking down the path here and when I've arrived at the bottom of the steps the waters come right over the path and we can't go any further. Just look how high it is, nearly at the top of the bridge. Oh my goodness, the rain has been coming down so heavily. The river is just in flood. Even the ducks are staying out of the water today. Oh no, they're going in. But my goodness, how quickly is that river flowing today? I think the ducks are just keeping at the side because the flow's going so fast. Well, just here by the river, there are some stepping stones. And the sign says, please avoid using the stepping stones when the river levels are high. And if we look here now, I can't even see them. They're all hidden under the really full river. And those waves on the top, it almost looks a bit like the sea. The river is flowing so fast today. Wow, look at the speed of the water coming down the huge weir. Gosh, listen to the noise of that water. We've come to one part of the river now where there's a little bit in the middle which helps the fish move up the river. Fish like salmon during the year but just look right in the middle where they might normally go up. Oh and it's so strong. I don't think any of the fish are going to be able to get up there today. 
Listen to the power of that water. Ooh, look at this really cold pond, all iced over. And if we're really quiet, let's just look over here. And there are two swans fast asleep. Can you see their heads just tucked into the warmth of their feathers? They're just drifting on the pond, going round and round, having a little snooze. Wonder what swans dream about. How peaceful are they? Well, I wonder if you've heard this story in Mark's Gospel about the day that Jesus fell asleep in a boat. Well, it was okay to start with because the water was nice and still, a little bit like the water that the swans fell asleep in just before. But there was a problem. The problem was that the wind got stronger and stronger and soon the lake became just like the river that we saw with the big waves on. Well, the disciples got so frightened, they were panicking. And so they went to wake up Jesus. And Jesus did something extra special. Let's just listen to that story now. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Well, I really love that bit in the story where Jesus stood up on that wobbly, wobbly boat and he said to the wind and he said to the waves, be still, and they were. Oh, I would have loved to have seen the disciples' faces when he did that. And sometimes our days might feel like we're in a wibbly, wobbly boat, things going up and down, things feeling a little bit difficult. And on days like that, I just find it really lovely to remember Jesus and him saying to the wind and the waves, just be still. And on those days that I find it a little bit difficult, I just think about Jesus saying, just be still. And it always helps me. Well, we're going to say a short prayer and then we've got a lovely song 
just at the end. But before we do that, I hope that you have a really good week. Well done for all your hard work and all that you're doing. We're all so proud of all that you're going to do this week. So let's just make ourselves still now. And let's be quiet for our prayer. Loving Lord, help us today to be kind and to be caring to all those people that we meet and see. Thank you to everybody who cares for us and looks after us. And help us with our work this week. When we find things difficult, help us not to give in. We thank you for all those people who are helping us with our learning this week. Amen. Here we go. In my wrestling and in my doubts in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea whoa you are the peace in my troubled sea in the silence you won't let go in the questions your truth will hold your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness to show Sure.